Hello everyone. Last month I got this drone off eBay. Uh, it's a Mavic 3 Classic and it has a bunch of issues. It's a crash damage device. As you can see, it sustained some pretty hefty damage. The propeller arm is broken. The camera mount is broken. The cable for the camera is also broken in several places. These are pretty common damages when you have an accident with one of these drones. So I hope this video helps someone. We start by removing the screws for the bottom panel, of which there are six. Once the screws are off, you need to remove this very carefully to the side like a little book, because there's a ribbon cable which is pretty short and it's also held down by a metal bracket and if you pull it, there is a big chance it might tear or snap. Here I'm removing the gimbal suspension bracket, which is held by a few screws. And after this, we need to remove the metal bracket holding the cables plugged in and then remove the cables themselves. This camera was not transmitting image, so there are several tears in the cable somewhere along the way. There is an external one as well, which we can see clearly later on in the video. And also I think the actual connector is broken on the side that plugs into the drone. There was no video transmission, no signal, no nothing. The gimbal was completely dead. Fortunately, as you'll see later in the video, it turned out to be the actual cable, so everything worked out fine. Now that the gimbal is out of the drone, it's time to unsolder the cables from the arm to the ESC board. And before we start, first you have to remove the battery. And then once you remove it, keep in mind that DJI are using pretty high melting point solder, so you need a high temperature soldering iron. And if you don't have one, I would suggest to buy one before attempting this. Once the cables are unsoldered, it's just a matter of removing them from the drone frame and unsticking every place where they are taped down, etc. The black cable that you see on the side is the antenna cable and this goes all the way to the top of the drone, so this requires to open the top part as well because you cannot unplug the cable and change the arm without this one. Once the upper lid is off, you can actually see this black antenna cable that I was talking about earlier and where it's connected to the board on the top side of the drone. And that's why you need to remove everything from the top side as well, just to be able to reach the cable. Thank you. 
once we have all cables disconnected you can now safely remove the propeller arm from the drone Once we have the old arm off, we can start installing the new one and it's simply a matter of reconnecting all cables. The black antenna cable is the trickiest one to put back because it sits inside a small channel, it's a very narrow channel, and there is no way that you can catch it from any side. And that's why I'm going to show you a little trick where you can use a normal zip tie, then tape the end of the cable and use the zip tie as a sort of a cable snake just to pull out the cable to the other side. As you can see this works flawlessly and all that's left now is to reconnect the cable. Make sure the cable is really on there and now it's just a matter of putting back everything together. As I mentioned, the old lid is also smashed, it's broken on the front, and one of the piers for the bolts is also broken off, so it needed replacement as well. Now as we start with the gimbal I would like to make a quick disclaimer. So in the middle of the video my phone battery died and some parts of the video are missing for which I apologize and unfortunately I didn't see it for some time and when I saw it the gimbal was already assembled as you'll see later in the video. Regardless of these unfortunate events I hope the video will help someone even though there are some missing parts.
after I put back everything together, I want to test the camera. And at this point, I noticed there is an ESC error, which I didn't notice before. And this I fixed on the next day by replacing the ESC board, which is the big board on the underside of the drone. And then I saw this one, which is a battery installation error, which actually got fixed by cleaning the battery connector with a bit of isopropyl alcohol. And there we have it. We have a fully functional Mavic 3 Classic. And all in, this costed me about 400 euro, 450, with all parts included. I'll link them in the description below. I hope this video helps someone. And if you like the video, don't forget to press the like button. And thank you for watching.